Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I uh, got a fun Python tutorial video for you today. Uh, we'll be taking a look at building the popular classic game Rock, Paper, Scissors in Python. And we're going to build it from scratch here. And I'm just going to, for this video, assume that you have a little bit of knowledge of either Python or object-oriented programming. If you do have any questions on anything you see in particular as we go through, feel free to let me know about in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But with no further ado, let's get right into it. Um, so essentially for rock, paper, scissors, the player and typically another player will count down and then at the same time pick uh, whether they want to be rock, paper, or scissors. And then each of those can beat one other of those three and then each of them um, will lose to one of those other three. So hopefully you're familiar with the game and that's why you're here. But if not, uh, that's kind of the essence of what we're doing. And I'm going to start programming it by defining a function that I'm basically just going to call rock, paper, scissors. And you don't have to put this in a function if you don't want, but if you want a scenario where you can keep um, playing the function over and over and over again, all you have to do is call the function. So I like to separate code into functions. That way I can call the function down the road. And essentially every time we start this function, we're going to print out rock, paper, scissors, one, two three and like that's just the thing that people say but uh, I think it, it's a good idea to tell your um, to tell your player what he's playing or she so then a uh, player is actually going to be an input where we say pick um, pick one and then we'll tell them just enter RP or S so we don't need to force a user to type in rock paper or scissors just enter RP or S and then let's make the AI player um, select a random integer from 1 to 3. And we're going to have to import this. So hopefully uh, you're familiar with Python's import. If not, you just at the top of your program, you do import random. And then you can access things like random integer from that module. OK, so what we've just done is we've grabbed the AI player um, actually, let's just call this one AI because that's going to be a number. And then let's say AI player equals. Let's go ahead and create uh, some if loops and say if AI is equal to one, then we want the AI player to be equal to rock. So I am um, I am doing it this way because I want to use uh, the player and the AI players. Um, answers together to do a, a comparison to see if they entered the same thing and to do that you need them to be the same string so one two three really coordinates to rock paper and scissors so once we get into um, why that is that'll make a little bit more sense but uh, for now let's go ahead and leave it that way and then let's move on so what we're going to do then is we're going to display what both people did so we'll print out computer played and then we will concatenate that with the AI player so that's going to tell us what the player did and then we're going to print out and and remind the player you played and in the same format um, and we'll just show them what they played okay and we'll say plus player and then now we need to handle scenarios for actually processing what was done so uh, we'll say if the AI player is equal to the player so this is you guys chose the same thing this is the easiest one right we're just gonna print uh, draw because you tied and you gotta make it a string so be sure to put it inside quotation marks you can do single or double quotes with Python and draw was gonna be the simplest one now uh, we need to do an elif and say if player if the AI chose rock and the player chose scissors so let's make this um, let's make this the lose scenarios for the player so this is gonna say if the if the AI picked rock and we picked scissors or and let's go ahead and copy this a couple times because now we're gonna say or the AI player picked paper and we picked rock and then let's go ahead to a new line and say or and the player picked scissors and we made the mistake of choosing paper, right? 
So um, it, this really could be anything. If you're not familiar with rock, paper, scissors, those are just the rules for um, how you lose in rock, paper, scissors. But so uh, essentially we just create the three scenarios and in any of those scenarios we're going to print loss because you just lost the game. And we could do the exact same code that we did here in reverse for the player winning. But since we handled a tie and we handled a loss already, we'll just say else and print win. Okay. So the three scenarios, win, loss, or tie, should be handled right there. And let's go ahead and see if we just call the function down below now and say rock, paper, rock, scissors. Did I call it paper, rock, scissors? That's amazing. <laughs> We're gonna change that to rock, paper, scissors. If you wanna leave it paper, rock, scissors, that's hardcore. And let's go ahead and run it. Um, you know, I'm pretty used to finding a mistake or two on my first time through, but let's see. So I'm gonna play rock, and the computer played paper, and paper beats rock, so we lost. Let's go ahead and run that again. Um, and this time I will play paper, and the computer played paper and we tied, that's cool. And this time I'll play paper again. And they played scissors, so I've lost. I haven't managed to win yet, but this is pretty cool. You can see the computer is changing its pick uh, just based on a random integer. And then we can pick whatever we want, and it tells us uh, loss or draw. I'm assuming it would tell us if we win. I just haven't yet. Um, but so that's really cool. And for this video, that's where I'm going to stop it. This is the basics of um, coding some really simple, randomly generated AI to play against, uh, getting operator prompt user prompts and then um, processing data into an output so uh, hopefully you found this useful be on the lookout for part two we're going to kind of add features like replayability and score tracking so if you have anything in particular you want to see make sure to check out that part two um, that'll be coming out because that might cover your questions or let me know about in the comments below if you found this or anything else on the channel useful uh, i really appreciate liking and subscribe it helps the channel out a ton and as always good luck with your code and thanks for watching thanks bye